Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan again here from GFX Sport. Uh, today, I'm gonna be showing you pretty much just how to make a nighttime photo. Uh, make some. Obviously, it's gonna be fake lighting. Uh, yeah. So, pretty much, you want to start off with the image. Uh, all the images will be provided in the right description. So, here I got this uh, barn image. I'm gonna go with. Uh, you want to start off first. Uh, you can go and do lighting through the image and adjustments and you can do levels but I'm just gonna do this quick here which is control plus U brings up the hue slash saturation here and I'm just gonna take the lightness down until it gets uh, it looks like it's uh, nighttime you know alright so yeah it looks good there alright so now you wanna make a new layer and you want to grab your it would be called the polygonal lasso tool so we get this and we want to go around where we want to make the light shine out so I'm gonna make this door look like it's open a bit I'm lagging here a little bit don't know why so yeah I'm just gonna go around this door outline here and make it seem like the doors Opened here. Alrighty. <clears throat> you want to make sure it's all joined. So, yeah, it's joined there. Uh, you can go around. Uh, you see this little window here. We'll throw this. I'm going to hold the shift key now so uh, it keeps making the selection for me. And I am just going to go around this window. Alrighty, and uh, actually I'll make this totally disappear and make this totally open here. Just like so. <clears throat> uh, it's, there's a little slot up here. Uh, the light sh might shine through, so might as well throw an extra little detail in. Alrighty, so now since you got that all cut out, uh, you just want to fill it in. This is after you make a new layer. Make sure you uh, make a layer and you just fill it in. And this is where we're going to make our light start shining through. <clears throat> Alrighty, so this is the next step. It's a little bit tricky, but not really. Um, I'll just do this quick here. What you want to do is make beams like as the lights shooting out and as you see we got that there this is on my new layer I made now I want to go to the gradient tool oh. and we're gonna go to a transparent background with a yellow but we're gonna go with this this uh... Here. That looks good right there. And you pretty much just want to use your uh, tool here and drag it in. And as you see, it makes it look like the light's shining out. And you want to do this for all the windows. And I'll do this real quick. So, for example, this will be shining out. And then it might get some more of the grass there. And we just pretty much repeat. Now let's bring this back a bit. The farther you bring it back, uh, the less uh, gradient you'll get on there. So try playing around with it until you get something that looks decent. <clears throat> Alrighty, cool. So this is actually pretty coming together not that bad even though I'm doing this extremely fast already one more left And 
there we go so now we got there you see the edges are making the light look a little bit too unreal so we can fix this simply just by going to filter blur and add some Gaussian blur to it uh, one point let's go put at 1.9 looks not bad you can also make a new layer for each light beam so you can uh, change that to blur like for example I'm not liking the top at this moment but we'll just leave it because this is just a quick tutorial here and uh, well since there's so much light going on here we want to add some light to the grass so let's grab our paintbrush tool it's very simple <clears throat> my computer's really slow today don't know what's up with that I'll uh, we'll go with like uh, 21 uh, we'll go a little bit bigger 27 yeah this looks good okay so we're gonna just go with uh, an orange and we're just gonna paint this in make some paint marks And we're going to go to filter, blur, and we can actually try box blur on this. And as you see, it looks like it turns out pretty pretty good. And turn out its opacity. And there you go. That's pretty like that took about a few minutes there, but obviously you can spend more time uh, to get the more professional look to it. But you can also uh, go back, actually delete this layer, go back to the first layer, make a new layer and create a clipping mask and you can go around with a darker orange and uh, just pretty much paint in just so the lights not totally super yellow there it makes it a little bit better Well, yeah, you can have fun with it like that. Um, this is another tutorial from GFX Sport.